What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer vs DL channel. So today we have a cool video with one tool that does everything. PSV image tools update from Silica. We're going to clone PSP games, install emulator bubbles, VHPL, ARC only on 3.63, 3.61 and 3.60. So remember that. So what do we need? We need a PSP game demo or mini. We need a PlayStation Vita. QCMA, the latest PSV image tools front end at Ziklika's GitHub. When we move on to the installation, we're going to open PSV image tools and then we'll auto update. Or you can get the file at the GitHub. We're going to clone a PSP game, install ARC, VHPL, and emulator bubbles. And then we're going to transfer the files to the PlayStation Vita. So wait for the additional tips and examples. The links as always will be in the description. Remember to check my Twitter guys. Enjoy gamers. So we move on to Silica's GitHub. He's been working so hard on the front end of the PSV image tools. You know he's fixed a lot of bugs. He's fixed the problem with cloning the PSP game bubbles. And also he's fixed other stuff with CM backup information so you can select your format which mine is going to be Windows 64 so I'm gonna go ahead and select that once downloading the file I'm going to go ahead and launch it As you can see we have PSD image tools so we select EC installers and we're going to first clone our game we probably all have one game or a demo we're going to select our account, choose account, and then we're going to select the game that we want to clone and create bubble. As you can see, it's going to do a pretty cool thing. Now we're going to rename or give it a name. Remember, it has to be all caps, nine characters, and you can add numbers if you want. So I put clone CD01. I just copy it because I'm going to create more. PSP bubble was cloned, click OK, and we do repeat the process. Pretty simple guys, I just sped up the video. Just keep on doing the same thing. If you want to customize this, SNES Vita, Sega Vita, Nintendo 1, and we create the clones, and we get the bubbles ready for our emulators. Now you can see, in my P game, I have all those clones in there. Now we're going to install ARC. I'm going to select install. I'm going to give you some prompt. Will not work on 3.65 or above. We're going to select our account. And then we're going to select the game that we want to patch with ARC. It's going to ask us if we want one menu. We select yes. This will create the saved data that we need to transfer to the PS Vita. Now we're going to do the VHBL select our game that we're going to patch with VHBL. Remember VHBL works on any firmware. There we have it. As you guys saw, remember to refresh that database. Okay, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is going to insert our ROMs or just transfer your emulator bubbles if you have them already done. So we go to Windows, select Users, the Gamer Rebirth. Remember, unview to unhide your folders or items so you can get the app data information. So we need to go in there, app data. We're going to select roaming. PSV image tools front end easy installers and then you're going to select MU bubble after that select files and there you have silica has already integrated some emulators in there so you will need to go inside the emulator and include your ROMs as you can see I already included all my ROMs which is pretty cool you can see my Sega 
has all my ROMs as well. Nestor J, which is Nintendo. So now that you're ready and you have all your ROMs, remember Windows, Users, Game Member Birth, App Data, Roaming, PSV Image Tools, EC Installers, MU Bubbles, and Files. So we launched our cool PSV Image Tools and then we're going to create an emulator bubble. So we go to the process. We're pretty much familiar with it. So we're going to select the game. We're going to install Sega Genesis and then clone or create bubble. So PSV image tool is going to do something pretty cool. It's going to read all the ROMs and then it's going to tell you that the game backup has been created. Pretty cool. So now we go to Nestor J. We do the same process, MU Bubble. We select the game or our clone that we've created. And then we're going to create Bubble. We're going to do the same process, which is pretty cool. You can see we're ready to go. We go to the PlayStation Vita, PC, Applications, PSP Other. And then we're going to copy all the games that we've created or clones in this instance I had done the clones first and then I transferred the emulator bubbles but either way how you want to do it it's fine remember to copy the save data the arc and VHBL information that your games can look pretty cool and for VHBL for it to work just to show you guys all the games work all the clones just testing some information so you guys can see. There we have it. Let's test ARC. For me, I created my own background theme. You can get it at my Twitter. I'll go ahead and leave it in the description as well. So we go VHBL, VHBL for all firmwares. You guys know that. There you have it. We have VHBL. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer my emulator bubbles, which I should have done it the first time, but it's fine. Applications, PSP other. Now you're going to see that the megabytes of the game is going to increase. It's going to be higher because we included our ROMs in there. So I have 32, 599, and 272 megabytes. I'm going to copy those games. If you did it before, then you would just need to copy all of them at the same time, which is pretty cool. And you save time. Now we're ready. This is exciting. Okay, so now we're going to check to see if it works. You can see we have our clones, we have our emulator bubbles, we have ARC and VHBL. So, hands down, this is a pretty cool tool. You know the front end that Silica has been working on. If it has helped you in any way, you know, remember to thank him on Twitter. Or I'll go ahead and leave it a link for donation in the description. If you guys can help him out with the beer, that would be pretty cool. I know this tool has helped me a lot. You know, he helped me with the starting the cloning process on all firmwares. So it's pretty cool. And then he integrated into his front end of the PSV image tools, which is now amazing. So guys. If it helped, hit like, let me know if it worked for you, comment, subscribe, as always, Gamer Rebirth, out.